today we are discussing the fourth video of graph theory here we'll discuss graph traversal algorithm which is depth first search so in the third video we have discussed breadth first search that is bfs and today we'll discuss depth first search so let's start with depth first search so uh, graph traversal algorithm is in front of you we have already discussed this part that there are two method of traversing a graph one is breadth first search and one is depth first search in breadth first search we use q data structure in depth first search we use the stack data structure fine we have already discussed this part in video th three now we'll discuss depth first search so what is depth first search so as i've told you in a graph when you travel Traverse breadth, traver breadth first. No, if there is a graph you traverse breadth first, then that become BFS. But if in a graph if you go deeper first, then that that traversal become DFS. Depth first search. Fine. Okay. So let's start with uh, the algorithm. So depth first search algorithm start from initial node. Initial node from where you have to start from the graph and goes deeper. See, this is given deeper and deeper until we find the final goal. Uh, so how how deeper we can go until we find the last node? So if we have find the last node, we'll stop there. And what we'll we'll do again backtrack because uh, uh, apart from this you cannot go anywhere but still there are more nodes which needs to be covered so deeper doesn't means that you will come out after traveling one no so uh, or node which has no children so you go deeper and deeper until you find no children the algorithm then backtracks from dead end towards the most recent node so this is how taking uh, the dfs takes place the data structure which is being used in dfs is stack which i've already told you now see the algorithm so algorithm is exactly exactly same just in place of q we have replaced it with stack so algorithm of bfs and dfs are exactly same in bfs we have used q in dfs we used to use stack so how to understand the algorithm let's start with the question that suppose you have a graph this uh, suppose you have a graph A, uh, B, C and D. Suppose there are four contestants who came for an interview. Who came for an interview and they are standing outside the gate. So inside the building there is one area which is called waiting room. Which is called waiting room. And inside the building there is one room which is called interview room. Fine. Now what will happen? The, all the nodes are ready. All the contestants are ready for the interview. So set the status is equal to 1 ready state for each node. So first of all their status of every node is 1. 1 because they came for interview. They are ready for interview. Push the starting node A onto stack. So suppose this is a stack. Previously we took waiting room as a queue. Now waiting room is a stack. So let me make it uh, as a stack, uh, waiting room as a stack. Let, let me uh, make it like a stack. So it look like a stack. So what you push the starting node A onto the stack. So I put push the starting node A onto the stack and make it a status to 2. Now it is in waiting state. No? Now I have called him and he or she is waiting. Third, so third step is saying repeat step 4 and 5 until stack is empty. What is step 4 and 5? So this is step 4. The step 4 says pop the top node N. Now you have to pop the top node. Which is the top node A? I have, will pop it. I will remove from stack. Process it and set its status to 3. So I will ask this node to go to the interview room. So if this node is going to the interview room, I have removed it from the stack. No, I have popped it from the stack. So now I make this status uh, to 3. And in fifth step, what you'll do, push all the neighbor of N. That is push all the neighbor of A. What are neighbor of A, B and C? Either you can put B first or you can put C first. So I'm putting B and C in the stack. So now their status will become 2. Fine. Fine. Okay. So this is what uh, uh, algorithm is all about. And we'll keep on repeating step 4 and 5, 4 and 5 until stack is empty. Until the stack is empty. Until stack is empty. Fine. And success step is exit. Fine. So this is the uh, very 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 easiest algorithm of data structure entire data structure fine so let's see let's start with uh, dfs algorithm how to solve the question so consider the graph along with its adjacency list so consider this graph and there is adjacency list what is adjacency list you know graph uh, uh, you have to consider every node a b c d whatever so if uh, what are neighbor of a neighbor of a are adjacent of it so d is adjacent of a and uh, b is adjacent you cannot say f is adjacent because there is no path from a to f so only b and d are adjacent so if i consider b adjacent of b are c and f to so c and f fine if i say e so adjacent of e are b which is b and f f fine okay hope you have understand what adjacency list is all about since we are using stack so let's start with the question so uh, we have solved till here let's start from first so put h onto the stack so what is h 
so it is given calculate the order calculate the order to print all the node of graph starting from node h by using depth first sir. that is it is given that you from which node you have to start if it is given you can start or if it is not you can take anything now so uh, uh, stack h so what you will do first of all you will uh, i'm making no i'm making a stack i'm making a stack first of all put a starting node into the stack no hope you understand hope you remember the algorithm so stack h so i have no put stack uh, i have put h into the stack now what i'll do i'll pop the top element which is only h and print it so i'll pop it and print it so it is clearly written pop the top element from the stack that is h print it so i have popped it and print it and push all the neighbor of h so i have popped it so i will remove it and all the neighbor of h i'll see the adjacency list what is the neighbor of h a so i'll put a over here fine so now stack is having a fine so now you keep on watching that so again remove a that is pop a stop element and put print it pop it print it and print a that you have again printed this is uh print now you have used print and then put the neighbor of a what are neighbor of a neighbor of a r b and d so i'll put b and d into the stack no onto the stack so b now there are two element b and d onto the stack you can make it on any order you can either put d first or you can put b first there is no difference fine so now again pop the top element which is the top element b so pop the top element uh, sorry for the top element is d i'm sorry so d top element is d and print it so i've popped it and print it and after removing d i have to insert all its neighbor so the neighbor of d r f can i insert f yes f is not inserted yet so i'll insert f now stack has b and f so now stack has b and f fine so what i'll do i'll again again pop top element top element is f i'll pop top element f and print it so i've printed and insert all the neighbor of f so neighbor of f is a can i insert a no because i have already processed a if something which you have already processed or in a waiting state you can not do it again fine so you have to remember this you cannot insert a node twice fine so now uh, there is only b left in a stack so what you will do you will pop b so at uh, in the next step pop the top element b and push all its neighbor so you have popped b also so if i see the previous image there was f and b since now there were only b and i have popped it so now there is no element no and i'll print b so i've print b now insert all the neighbor of b so neighbor of b are c and f since i have already processed f c backside you have already processed f no print f and there was so i'll not insert f but i'll but uh, but i can insert what c because c have not been processed yet or not inserted so i can insert c so i can insert what c so now uh, stack has c now pop the top element what is the top element c so i'll pop the top element c and push all its neighbor so i'll pop print and print its uh, enter its neighbor so uh, neighbor of c are e g and h since h has already been inserted fine so i'll not you know insert it what i'll do i'll insert e and g so i'll insert e and g fine okay now what you will do pop the top element what is the top element g print it and the stack will have e why because g neighbors are e and h and we have already inserted e and h so we'll not insert anything after deleting g after popping out g now what what is the element e so i'll remove the top element e and print it and push its neighbor what are the neighbor of e b and f they are already being processed so we will not insert so now stack is empty so we'll stop so the algorithm says print till stack is uh, stock stack is empty fine hence stack becomes uh, uh, empty and all the nodes of the graph has been traversed so first of all we have printed h then we have printed a then we have printed d and then we have printed f then b then c then g and e so if you see h a d h a d c you are going deeper first because of this this is called depth first search so hope you have understand why this is called depth first search and why these are uh, the previous algorithm was called breadth first search so uh, uh, these both algorithm were uh, is used for traversing the graph that is traversing every node of a graph every vertex of a graph exactly once not twice not thrice exactly once 